Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are seen looking at $165 million. Spelling Manor, built by television mogul Aaron and White Candy, and once owned by British heiress Petra Ecclestone, after deal for $55 million Bel Air Mansion falls through filled circle newly engaged Jennifer, 52, and Ben, 49 were spotted together in Los Angeles on Tuesday as they continued their search for a new home-filled circle it comes just days after the multi-hyphenate shared news of their second engagement in her filled circle the soon-to-be husband and wife checked out a 14-bedroom home in Holmby Hills that costs $165 million after their deal on a $55 million estate in Bel Air fell through filled circle the massive property once called Spelling Manor was built over several years by late TV showrunner Aaron Spelling and his socialite wife Candy Spelling and was completed in 1990 filled circle the sprawling property sits on 4.6 acres and boasts amenities including 100 garage spaces, a bowling alley, a plush movie theater, a tennis court, a pool and a hair salon Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck wasted no time returning to the hunt for a luxury mansion after their previous real estate deal fell through and perhaps their next move will be into one of the most iconic properties in Southern California built by television mogul Aaron Spelling and wife Candy. The newly engaged couple was spotted together at the massive property on the market for a whopping $165 million once called Spelling Manor in the Los Angeles suburb of Holmby Hills with famous residents including Kylie Jenner, on Tuesday as they continued their search for a new home visiting multiple properties. It comes just days after the multi-hyphenate, shared news of her second engagement to the actor, in her on the JLo newsletter written to her fans. The search continues. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck were spotted together in Los Angeles on Tuesday as they continued their search for a new home the property, now referred to the manor as listed at a price of triple the recent home they were in escrow for. The massive property once called, Spelling Manor, was built over several years by late TV showrunner Aaron Spelling and his socialite wife Candy Spelling and was completed in 1990. In 2011, Candy sold the home to British heiress and model Petra Ecclestone for a whopping $85 million before spending a reported $20 million in renovations. Then in 2019, Ecclestone sold the famous property for just under $120 million to an anonymous Saudi Arabian buyer. The sprawling property features 100 garage spaces, 14 bedrooms, and 27 full bathrooms. It sits on 4.6 acres. The total square footage of the mega mansion is 56,000 and the home, built in 1990 boasts a traditional architectural style. Amenities include a bowling alley, a plush movie theater, tennis court, hair salon, and a pool and jacuzzi combo. Prior to Tuesday's search, an eyewitness reported that the couple spent about two hours checking out three different homes on Sunday with Affleck's two youngest kids, Serafina, 13, and Samuel, 10, who he shares with ex-wife Jennifer Garner. During the outing, the On The Six music artist wore a cream, cropped, cable knit sweater. She showed off a bit of her toned tummy in the piece, which had an asymmetrical hem. Jennifer added a pair of loose-fitting, olive green, belted trousers with a round silver buckle. They gathered at her waist and she added a pair of large, silver-toned hoop earrings. The mother of two wore her honey blonde hair loose and arranged in a center part as it fell down her back and was windblown in a straight style. The actor was seen in his usual combination of tussled hair and a scruffy beard. He added khaki-colored pants to the casual getup. The twosome traveled in a dark-colored Mercedes as they house-hopped around the City of Angels. On the same day, the power couple were also seen checking out a different home in the same neighborhood which was owned by the ex-wife of famed restaurateur Mr. Chow. After the Lovebirds deal on a $55 million estate in Bel Air fell through, according to TMZ, they were back to house hunting over the weekend. While it is unknown what caused the stars to back out of buying the last property, they have been touring more expensive homes in the area. Jennifer was just in Los Angeles for a couple of days, a source told People. She spent time with Ben.
They have kept in touch every day since their Montana.